All right, so now we have uh, the head and on and installed as well as the cam. Uh, there's several steps to reinstalling this properly and correctly. Uh, so these bearings actually scoot over uh, so that you can you can literally install the cam and slide the chain. So you just slide this bearing over here and you're able to drop the cam down and adjust the chain. Right now I have it right where I want it. Those two tick marks which are right here and right there. Those two tick marks need to be level with the head. And the importance of this is that the cam chain that is connected to the crankshaft is uh, to run all in sequence so that the piston is timed correctly to when the valves open and the camshaft opens those valves. So as you can see right now, it's, it's at top dead center. And I ensured before I tightened these bolts down that the, the crank was in fact at top dead center. I uh, inspected it visually but I also inspected it here, and you will know that this, this um, cotter pin is gonna be just a little over center, and that's top dead center. That is where the piston is at the top of its stroke. And so you want everything to be adjusted, the cam chain, the crank, and everything else to be adjusted to top dead center. Now there's several ways to do this, um, the, the, the best way, as I mentioned earlier, is to actually look at uh, the, top, the, the, the top of this cylinder before you put the head on and make sure that the piston is at the top of its stroke. And you simply just adjust this uh, crank back and forth until it is so. So now this, the next step is going to be taking the slack out of this cam chain and we need to ensure that once we take the slack out of the cam chain that our marks still remain at the top of the head here, that will ensure that everything is timed correctly and when the crank comes around, uh, that the four stroke, uh, the, the exhaust stroke and the intake stroke will all be timed appropriately and correctly. Uh, so this is the major difference between a four stroke and a two stroke and this is the most critical part. If we get it wrong, uh, if uh, there's several things that can go wrong here. If you do not get this chain uh, appropriately placed with these marks up, uh, on the top of the head, uh, basically your timing between your crank and your head will be out of time and you'll bend your valves. Um, and so it's, you know, it's critical. I, I just put 200, I set a $200 titanium valves in here. I don't want to do that, right? Um, and there's a lot of symptoms of your valves being off. So the next portion of these videos, I'm gonna show you how to uh, properly uh, set the, the gap here, adjust your valves. And so that's what we'll be doing next. We'll be replacing the rocker arm uh, that goes right in here. And that rocker arm runs off of this cylinder. Um, and we will be doing that next. Thank you.